Hey everyone, it's Ashif with Softorino. Check out these tips on making your iPhone's battery last longer. Here's an iPhone 12 mini, and it only has 85% battery health left. This iPhone does not last an entire day's of use, but we can change that with a few small tweaks. So straight off the bat, you'll definitely want to use dark mode as often as you can. This is especially important if you have an iPhone 10 or newer, as these iPhones come with OLED screens. Each of your pixels on your iPhone is individually powered, so when you use dark mode, your phone simply has to power less pixels, thus extending your battery life. Staying on the topic of screens, let's change how long your iPhone screen stays on after you're done using it. So head into your settings, go down to display and brightness, auto lock, and choose either 1 minute or 30 seconds. Now when you put your iPhone down on a table, it will automatically shut its screen off faster. iPhones have a feature that automatically turns your screen on when you pick up your phone. This can be pretty handy, but it's also a huge drain on your battery. Head into your settings, go down to display and brightness, and simply toggle off, raise to wait. Now that the screen is taken care of, let's make sure you don't have any background apps that are just completely draining your battery. Even when you're not using your iPhone, your iPhone's constantly connected to all sorts of networks, making sure your apps are up to date. Things like your mail, messages, sometimes even music, and of course, syncing your photos. But we can save that for when you're at home, connected to some power. So head into your settings, go into general, then background app refresh. And make sure you either select Wi-Fi, or if you want to just turn everything off, you can select off. I like to check through this entire list and select only the ones I actually need. Things like mail, Instagram, and maps, as having those update in the background can be handy. You don't want to miss out on important emails. Another huge drain on your iPhone's battery is location services. Not only is it a little bit weird that apps want to know where you are at all the time, but constantly having your iPhone check your location by connecting to GPS is simply another sensor to waste your battery. So go into your settings, scroll down to privacy and security, then location services. Disable the ones that aren't useful to you. Maybe keep maps on, as this app actually needs your location data. You can also scroll to the bottom of this page and turn off significant locations as that's a huge drain on your battery. And all this does is track how often you visit a particular location so Apple can tell where you live and where you work. You'll also definitely want to modify how Siri behaves. Using the Hey Siri voice command is actually a huge drain on your battery because your iPhone's microphone is constantly listening for these two words. So just go ahead and turn this off in your settings. So head into your settings, scroll down to find Siri and search, and turn off Listen for Hey Siri. Now you can scream Hey Siri as often as you want and your phone will ignore you. And if you still need to use Siri, you can simply hold down the power button for a second and she'll pop right up. Okay, so we took care of all the background apps that could be draining your battery, but what about your battery itself? You'll definitely want to use optimized battery charging inside your battery settings. This is actually the healthy way to charge your battery as you shouldn't be charging everything to its max all the time. That simply degrades your battery faster. There's also a low power mode here, but I want to show you a cool trick. So you already know that iPhones automatically enter low power mode once your battery reaches 20%. But we can change that 20 to any number we like, whether it's 30 or 40%. To do this, head into your shortcuts app. Go to automation at the bottom and create a new automation with the plus sign at the top. Scroll down and select battery level. Move the slider to 30% and choose falls below 30. Tap next, search and select low power mode, press next and done. Now when your iPhone reaches below 30%, it will automatically enter low power mode. Low power mode slightly dims your iPhone screen, but it also limits things like background app refresh and temporarily stops your iPhone from updating things like your iCloud or doing updates for apps. And I have one more tip for you that's really awesome. We can actually have our iPhone automatically turn off Wi-Fi and turn on data when you leave the house, and we can have it do the exact opposite where your data turns off and your Wi-Fi turns on as soon as you reach home. To do this, you'll need to create another shortcut, so head into the Shortcuts app, head to the Automations tab, create a new automation, select Leave, and choose your home location. Tap Next and add Action. Search for Wi-Fi and change it to Off. Tap the plus sign and search for cellular data and change that to on. Tap next and turn off ask before running, then press done. And you'll also want to create the second automation so the exact opposite happens when you reach home. So create another automation, this time select arrive and choose your home location. Tap next and add action. 
search for Wi-Fi and turn this on. Tap the plus sign and search for data and turn this off. Then press done. Now with these two shortcuts, when you leave home, your iPhone will automatically shut off its Wi-Fi and turn on the data. And once you come home at the end of the day, your data will turn off and your Wi-Fi will turn on. And that's how you make your iPhone battery last the entire day, even if you have a really old iPhone. That's all for this video. And if you found this helpful, make sure you leave us a like, comment down below what you want to see next, subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you can stay up to date on the best Apple tips. Thanks for watching. Soft Torino, tiny apps that make a gigantic difference.